This is my review of the Cold Steel English Bill that I got a few days ago. Uh, first impressions, it's, it's nice. Uh, the steel is uh, decent quality. I don't have a steel tester, so I can't confirm anything about it. I will be getting that eventually. Um, it's covered in this nice uh, black paint, which will keep it from rusting. The only part that's un uncovered, of course, is the blade edge. Otherwise, it won't cover the shit. Uh, the half is decent. I have no idea what wood it is, but it's all right, other than what appears to be some sort of glue stains on it. That is slightly annoying. Uh, I did pay for the sharpening on this, and I will be talking about that in a bit because I didn't trust my own abilities to sharpen this. Uh, one thing that does bother me, and may not be immediately apparent here, but the head, I'm not sure if you can see this, the head is slightly bent. I really hope you can see that, but the head is from the, just a little bit off kilter like this. It's not huge, it's not massively off-center, and I can fix it. I'll just have to heat this up a little bit and bend it back. It's still annoying, because I spent uh, just over a hundred bucks on this, so it's a little annoying. What I find slightly more annoying is that after I paid for the sharpening service, it still doesn't seem sharp enough. Um, I cut several bottles, and it didn't seem to actually cut through the bottles, quite well at all. Uh, I actually tried the paper test and it just doesn't really go. Now, eventually I thought, okay, it's a pole arm. It's meant to be swung with a lot of force and maybe that's not, maybe that's why. But I'm starting to think that that's probably not correct. Now, the bottle it did work best on is this one. It's not anything particularly Massive, it's not huge gaping cuts, but they are, hope you can see that, cut. But it won't cut all the way through, it just kind of cuts into it and then it just sends it flying afterwards. Now, there are several reasons for this. One, it's pole arm, it's supposed to do that. You know, it's all it's all weight, you just, I'm just hitting things that are too light, so they all just, I hit it, it doesn't cut through, so it just kind of sends them flying. And if that's the way it is, fine. Uh, I retract that complaint then. Two, it's not sharp enough. That I can actually test. I can uh, do a bit of sharpening myself and then uh, try and cut bottles again. Three, my form sucks. I am completely willing to acknowledge that the reason this thing doesn't cut properly is on me and not it. I am, however, testing this in a vacuum. I don't have anything to compare it with at the moment. Uh, I will be getting a Kopesh for Christmas, though, the Devil's Edge one. Uh, so I'll be able to test that versus this as far as cutting goes, so I'll be able to get a little better of an idea. Uh, I'm going to do some more testing with this, as this is only a first impressions video. But first impressions, it's okay. It's not amazing. The fact that the blade is bent, and I do, I do really hope you can see that. goes that way with the... Haft. Uh, it definitely drops at a full letter grade, in my opinion, because you, you buy something you expect it to be better than that. It's like, come on, Cold Steel. I, I expect better from you. Um, the blade itself I like, though. It's, it's definitely nice. It feels sturdy. The whole weapon itself is, it feels decent in the hand. It's not too front heavy. It's not, not too bad. It works. It does what it needs to do. It stabs really well. I will give it credit on that one. Um, it, the, the, the blade just slides right in there. And of course, I'm stabbing something this big. So it just goes flying right off my target. It doesn't have enough weight. I should probably work on that. Maybe I should uh, start screwing things to the board so they stay a little more still. Maybe that would maybe that would help. I'll do some more tests after I've more securely attached them to whatever I'm hitting them off of. So I'll get some bottles and just screw them onto a board and swing at them that way and we'll we'll see. But First impressions for my first pole arm. It's not bad, I guess. I didn't. If memory serves. I should have looked this up before I made the video. If memory serves, I paid about 120. About 120 bucks for this. Well, it's not terrible, I guess. It's not 
not horribly expensive, but it is a little annoying. And if it is not, if it really is the fact that it's not sharp enough, but it really does feel sharp enough. It's got a nice, it feels it's got a nice edge. I will say this. While testing this with a buddy, we did swing, and this went too far down and sliced right into the board. I don't have any footage of that, sadly, because it was at night. But sliced right into the board, and there is... I hope I have this in line. There is just no edge damage. This thing just didn't care at all. And it, it took a decent chunk out of the board. I mean, it sliced. So the board's about that thick. It sliced about that much, just going down, just sent it flying. It was... It, it held up pretty well. So in that regard, I think it's all right. So these other problems are annoying, of course, but... I mean, if you want a pole arm... You could definitely do worse. I will say that. You could definitely do worse than this. But at the same time, there's enough things that annoy me. Now, as I said, first impressions, I'll do some more testing. We'll see if it stays that way. But if it turns out it's me, then this will probably get a full recommendation.